with the Go MRI Man. Spread the knowledge. Motivate the people. Yo, what's up? It's MRI Man, a.k.a. Kwame. Thanks for pulling up. Um, first, I want to thank all the OG subscribers. Y'all been riding with me since like 2017. Shout out to you. Leave a comment below if you've been riding with me. Um, then shout out to all the new subscribers. Shout out to you guys. See a lot of new guys around. Um, leave some comments and tell me where you guys are from. If you're new, if you're the OG subscriber. Also, say what's up. If you're just like watching my videos and haven't subbed yet, just go ahead and sub. Anyway, um, we're going to get into this question. The question is, do you think a career in radiology would suit me as an introvert? I was originally going for nursing because of the many job opportunities, but I don't think I can really tolerate the stress. So I'm leaning towards making the switch to radiology. He wants to know if he can be a rad tech as an introvert or can he be an introvert rad tech? You know where we're going with this. What really is an introvert? Like what really is that? You know? So I became an expert on it. I watched like four YouTube videos and I kind of had an idea what it was, but you know, I just wanted to brush up on it. There could be like different types of introverts, different types of extroverts, maybe a mixture of both. But what I think is that everybody has like a battery level, right? That how much social interaction they could take or the thing that I see is that now they just try to throw labels on everything. You know what I mean? You're this, you're that. Um, I try not to throw any labels on myself. I just, you know, try to be me and then see what fits me best. So when choosing a career, I think you have to kind of do the same and just kind of know yourself, you know, will an introvert be good in the medical field? Think about it. So I did watch this video about, um, it was a surgeon, he's talking, he's very famous on YouTube, and he was talking about how to choose a medical career, you know, based on your personality or whatever. And anyway, in a part of that video, it said, uh, are you socially awkward? And it said, you should be a radiologist, you know? So are all radiologists socially awkward and and weird maybe no i'm just playing they're not all like that right there's the outgoing type there's some that don't like to clearly do not like to talk to anybody but they're great at what they do right and they're in the office in that small space by themselves. um and there's some that can have a full conversation with you talk about their family kids this and that and that's fine um and that's why i would say don't let you know, don't Google something and it says, oh, if you're an introvert, you must be a graphic designer. You must you must be a computer, uh, you know, engineer, whatever. You know what I mean, they're trying to they're trying to control you, trying to tell you what to do, how to live your life. But when it comes down to it, it's like. Do you want to be a, a rad tech? Do you really want to do it? Um, what's stopping you from doing it? Is it the people, like the patients? Do you not want to talk to patients? Um, you're going to have to talk. I'm going to be honest with you, dude. Like, I keep it 100 around here, man, if you guys know me. Um, you're going to have to talk to patients. You're not going to have to talk to them for very long. Maybe, like, you know, initially getting the clinical information, maybe, like, five minutes, you know, and you don't have to have all these, you know, personal conversations with patients. Like, you don't have to talk about, oh, what kind of dog do you have? Oh, you know, you don't really have to do that part. Um, you can kind of just say, where's your pain, this and that, and get and get it going, right? You could do that. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but me personally... Uh, especially for patients that you know are going to come back, you kind of want to have some kind of friendly relationship with them because you got to understand, you know, these people are going through cancer or, you know, 
tough injuries and you got to kind of give them a good experience on uh, two different aspects one you just want to seem like a good human being two you are running a business um they do look at your work performance and you, they're leaving feedback to your manager saying oh Kwame did a great job he he's amazing he got me through my MRI and you start getting this rep right and that's the kind of rep that maybe you should want and should thrive for maybe I'm wrong maybe these are just my thoughts and how I view things an introvert probably doesn't want to talk much right probably doesn't have a lot of friends but the friends that they do have are really close so you put this introvert into an MRI area. And I'm just going to kind of speak from my area, okay? Like where I work. I'll give you an example. So you have, let's say, boom, MRI machine in front of me, okay? And then you have another MRI tech working with you. And you guys have to work together to, you know, finish the day. You probably have like, what, 25 patients, okay? So... You will work on this machine for half the day. After lunch, you will switch with the other facilitator or other MRI tech, and you will then do his job. His job was to, you know, go get the patients ready, screen them, get the clinical information. So you guys are working together. One's scanning, one's getting the patients. And, you know, do you have to have full-blown conversations about your life and your kids and everything with your coworker do you have to is it like required it's not required um to do that you don't have to be all open about your life um you know you can do whatever you want so i've worked with all different types you know i've worked with people that you know that don't talk much, you know what I mean? And that's just how they are. And it, it doesn't bother me as long as they help me when I need help. If I'm asking them like, hey, I need help, you know, starting this IV or I need help. I don't know how to do this scan. Can you help me? And if they know I would, you know, appreciate it, they can help me. And those people do. That's fine. And then some days you'll see that they'll talk a little bit about their their interests or whatever but you know a lot of times they're just quiet and this could bother i'm gonna be honest with you this could bother other other workers like say behind you know on the other side right here in the same room we have let's say another cat scan machine you know whatever and there's two techs on that side and say we're all having this conversation about you know rick and morty whatever this show and we're like talking about time dimensions and this and that and then you have another coworker here, the the, in, the uh, introvert, quote unquote, just kind of sitting there, quiet, whatever. Does it bother me? No, you know. Does does it bother so and so? CT maybe, maybe they're like, oh, why doesn't this this person talk? They don't ever talk to me. They don't say that. I have a nice sweater, and I they my dog is cool. You know. That's just how they think. But let me tell you this. Someone's going to think something of you wherever you work, you know, whether it be negative, positive. And I, to me, I think that's that's fine. If you want to come to work, not talk much and do your job. But you're also, you know, you got to be a team player, though. You know, you got to You got to help out. It's kind of hard for me to answer this question. But, let me, you know, I'll ask you a question. Like, do people talking around you all day, does that, like, drain you? Is it just too much going on? Um, and I feel like everybody has a level, a battery level of that. Like, how much, you know, talking or social interaction or gossiping and negative comments and you know all that everybody has like a battery level right like there's only so much you could take you know someone being negative all day right there's only so much you could take you know some might be real high and be like i don't care what they say they can i can tune them out others might be like look 
they'll take three or four hours of that those negative comments and they might just lash out at that person or as an introvert maybe they would hold it in and they would just feel bad you know what i mean and if they're just like so much negativity or whatever it is it just drains them it burns them out you know what i mean or it, maybe it's not even negative comments maybe it's just people talking and uh maybe that that burns you out you know i don't know but from my experience it varies i mean i work in an environment where people are talking all the time and it's i'd say 90 there's music playing in the background you know what i mean and people coming in and out i did work in different environments i did work at a hospital i would just say in the middle of nowhere and on a trailer and it was just me and this other guy uh we used to work it was cool we're on this trailer outside the hospital and it's freaking the hospital's dead there's like no patients i do like three patients a day and just slow man slow moving um a lot of days i was by myself and it was cool being by yourself but then yeah to me I did get bored and I was just kind of like, damn, there's no, I have no co <laughs> no coworkers. And you know, there's other techs inside the hospital, but it's like, I had to kind of stay there on the trailer. So in that aspect, you could work in that kind of environment. You could work on a trailer where it's just you and maybe one other person and just kind of quiet. So you have your own environment. You don't have a, a bunch of different other people walking in and out. Um, it's kind of, you can make it your own. So I did work also at a hospital, and I will tell you about that. Um, hospital was busier than that other hospital where I worked out, you know, in the middle of nowhere. And same thing. I had one dude helping me, and I just had the machine, and it was just pretty much us. Um, and they would bring us, the, the transporters would bring us the patient, drop them off. Sometimes they would come with the nurse. Nurse would just be on their phone doing whatever. And you're kind of like by yourself. You're kind of by yourself. Um, it's not like at an outpatient imaging center where it's just like a bunch of different techs and just they can be coming in and out of your where you're working. And, you know, you have two magnets back to back. It wasn't like that. It was just one magnet, yourself, coworker that helps you get the patients. And yeah, it was pretty chill. Like, it was really easy. I think you would do better in a, in that kind of environment um, as an introvert. Uh, you know, very few coworkers. It's only a few at a time. I never saw my manager. Rarely um, didn't have to deal with, you know, a bunch of different modalities, really. I mean, it was just just me and my coworker, man. And that was it. So my first job, I did work at a small outpatient small dude same thing slow so slow literally it was just me and i had six or eight patients awesome job wish i could have got it i really i actually did like it but let me tell you you don't have any help you have no one to help you i think you can call the other tech whatever to help you with scans but anyway you're by yourself you do you literally do everything by yourself um you can make it quiet in there loud in there ain't Nobody was bothering, no one would ever, ever bother me or even, you know, I was just by myself. Um, and this was like a temp job or whatever. So that's why I didn't keep it. Um, but yeah, I think you would do good in that. That'd be perfect for an introvert. Like, um, those are some things to talk about, man. I mean, how much of an introvert are you? Is it like you can't talk to anybody? Um, would you like to help people like help patients? Could you talk to them? Can you, you know, really show that you care and want to help them? Those are some things you got to, you know, question yourself as well, because if you have a passion for it, um, it's going to be an easier job to do. And there's a lot of different, different MRI environments you can work in. I just kind of gave you a few. Um, but I do hope you figure it out, man. And I hope, this kind of helped you. Um, how old are you? You know, are you 18, 19? Do you have any work experience and where have you worked? Have you challenged yourself to work in these extrovert 
environments or whatever you want to say. Because let me tell you, man, when I got my first job, I was working at a grocery store, man. I was like 16 and I did not really like talking to, you know, random people. You know what I mean? Like random customers, or random people. I got to like say hi to them and like smile at them and stuff. It was it was really weird, you know. And I had my friends and once I, you know, get to know them, I would talk a lot, whatever. But I was, uh, you know, it was really weird. I was like kind of socially awkward. I would think I was at that age. And I think it's normal. Um, I think you can learn how to talk to people and become good at that customer service. And so that's my question. Like, have you ever had or tried to work in in any of these environments? Like, and if you haven't, maybe you should. Maybe you should get a job where you work in a small office and you guys all talk. I don't know. If you haven't, maybe you should get out there and get some jobs where you're socializing and you're working around different personalities and you can kind of see what your your level is. If you could deal with these kind of people, if it burns you out. Um, I just, honestly, myself, I have a lot of work experience, man. I've worked with all different kind of people. Introverts could still be making friends, you know what I mean? So what if you do get a job and you work with a group of people and you like them, you guys connect and what if they're, (laughs) what if they're also introverts and then you guys are all cool and you're cool that it's quiet. You're like, whatever, we're going to have a quiet day. You know what I mean? Are you guys going to talk when you talk? So there's also that. Or maybe try to get a job as a facilitator, um, MRI tech, MRI tech assistant, you know, maybe try that out first. I think that's your best bet. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out. And uh, yeah, man, if you guys haven't already subscribed to me, drop a comment, drop a like, and I will see you guys on the next one.